Lord, I set myself in your presence. We are not called to be empires. Manam yavaru mugoda kotalu gappa gappa empire lagada dani ke pelau bala leno. We are not called to be a political party. Manam ka political party ka vonda dani ke manam yavaru mo pelau bala leno. We don't need to make a Christian political party. Vok a Christa va political party manam yavaru mo chena kar leno. We don't need to do something in this world so that we will be a mega church in this country. Ii prapanchya manam ka mega church ka vonda lani yedo pradarsana church ko na kar leno. We need to be the voice of Jesus. Amen. ఈ యొక్క ప్రపంచములో యేసు ప్రభువుక స్వరముగా మనం మారాలి. Understand the role of John the Baptist. యా స్నానికరని యోహానక పాత్రని గమనించండి. He when he saw Jesus. యేసును చూడగానే. He said behold the lamb of God. ఇదిగో దేవుని గొర్ర పిల్ల అన్నాడు. He pointed his finger towards Jesus. ఆయన యేసుక్రీస్తు వైపు తన వేలును చూపించాడు. We struggle for position. మనం పొజిషన్ల కొరకు ఆత్రుత పడతాం. We struggle for power. మనం శక్తి కొరకు ఏదో ప్రయత్నం we struggle for recognition yedo gurtimpu karaku praakulaadata we struggle for so many things in this world ee lokamana aneka vishayala karaku mana krushi chestu untam we call as a christian manamu kristavuniga pilavabaddama there is no christ in that person aa vyakti lo kristu lekapothe my daddy calls god as father ma tanri gaaru tanri da tanri ni chusi tanri ani pilisthe so should i call god as grandfather aithe na tanri da devu See John the Baptist he showed his finger towards Jesus He pointed his finger he said behold the lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world You are not called to be a critic You are not called to be a critic of any religion You are only called to be the pointer of Jesus in this world. And what this man John the Baptist does? When he saw Jesus, disciple some of his disciples followed Jesus. And you know what is response for that? He should increase. And I should decrease. The moment Jesus comes into the scene. We have to go behind him. The first thing this convention teaches us. We have to be the pointer of Jesus in this world. Even if you don't have a compass. దిక్కు సూచి లేకపోయినా గాని ఇన్ ద స్కై యు కెన్ సీ ద స్టార్స్ అండ్ టెల్ విచ్ సైడ్ విచ్ డైరెక్షన్ ఇస్ నాట్ ఆ నక్షత్రాలు చూసి ఆ నక్షత్రాల విచూసి ఏ వైపు ఎలా ఉందో సూచిస్తుందో కొందరు చెప్పగలరు యు ఆర్ కాల్డ్ టు బి ద పాయింట్ ఆఫ్ జీసస్ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ లోకములు యేసుక్రీస్తు ప్రభువుక చూపు వేలగా మారాలి యు ఆర్ క్యారింగ్ ద బైబిల్ అండ్ యు గో టు గో బ్యాక్ హోమ్ దిస్ నైట్ యు ఆర్ వాకింగ్ డౌన్ ఇన్ టు రాజమండ్రి రాజమండ్రిలో వెళ్తా సంబడి ఆస్క్ యు హే బ్రదర్ వై ఆర్ యు క్యారింగ్ దిస్ బైబిల్ అండ్ గోయింగ్ ఓ సహోదరి సహోదరి ఎందుకు బైబిల్ మోసం వెళ్తున్నావు అంటే వాట్ ఇస్ ద రీజన్ యు ఆర్ గోయింగ్ ఎవరీ సండే What is this if they ask you a question? What is going to be your answer? Will you scratch your head? I can tell well. But I can take you to my pastor. And he will explain you better. That's not the answer God is expecting from you. He saved me from the clutches of death. He saved me because when I was dead he made me alive. And he gave me the right to call God as father. And Jesus died for my sin and the sins of the world. I go to the church to grow in the Lord. I go to the church to be a church. And then you take him to the pastor. The first question God is asking you. He always asks you what do people think about me? And what do you think of the Lord? The first thing the Lord is telling us. The second thing the Lord is teaching us. Our eyes should be upon heaven. The book of Colossians talks to us very clearly. Third chapter. First verse. If then you were raised with Christ, 
Seek those things which are above. Where Christ is sitting at the right hand of God. Set your mind on things above. Not on things on the earth. For you died. And your life was hidden with Christ in God. Unless you die properly. You can never live for Jesus. Every day we should die in the areas where we are not yet dead. John chapter 12, many people came to see Lazarus. You know, they wanted to see Lazarus more than Jesus because Lazarus was brought from the dead. And all the Pharisees and scribes said, Oh, they began to cry. Look, the whole world is going after him. The world has to go after the master. Every crown. History tells us. The history of the world tells us. Every crown. Every kingdom. Every government. Every uh, power who wanted to obstruct and stop the message of Jesus. The time came, they opened out, the, the crown was laid at the feet of Jesus. There were, came Glasnost. There came Roman Emperor Constantinople. After Nero and everybody, this man came about. The very crown, the very empire which wanted to crush every believer that very crown was brought at the feet of Jesus and when the Greek people they came to uh, the disciples of Jesus Andre and Philip heard about it and we want to see Jesus they said they thought Ministry, Jesus' ministry is going to become Jesus' international ministry. We used to go to Samaria and Judea and Galilee. And now we are going to go to Greece. We will go to Italy. Wow, ministry is developing. The Lord Jesus said that day. The time has come for the Son of Man to be glorified. They thought, yes, 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 he's going to be glorified. The glory which the Lord is talking, the glory kind of glory is going to take is completely different. The unless a seed of grain falls into the ground and dies. If it is alone, it cannot be fruitful. But it should die. Then it will give forth much fruit. There is something in your life which should you die, my friend. Unless you are dying properly, you can never look up into the heavens. This evening, one thing the Lord is teaching us. We should not be ashamed to talk about the word being born again. Don't shrink from using that word. Everybody born in the church are not born again. Every child who is born or every member who is in the church are not considered to be born again. Many of us are calling God as grandfather. We need a personal experience with the master. Something born again, it's a kind of a trigger in our lives. Unless we are born again, the Lord Jesus told to Nicodemus, You one cannot enter into the kingdom of God. 
The blood of Jesus should cleanse your life. And the Spirit of God should revive you and give you new life. And that's how we can look unto heaven. The third most important thing. What are we called to be? For a saint, God never does a miracle. Don't be afraid of that. For a saint, he does not need a miracle. Because the Lord Jesus is the miracle in his life. The normal miracles do not <laughs> excite him as much as Jesus. The relevance of the Holy Spirit should be one of the member per person said they are the two people who come out of the church their fight spilled onto the street as we were looking in uh, such a uh, tremendous shock suddenly one lady began to talk some language and immediately the other lady to talk some language and everybody asked what are they talking one man said they're fighting in tongues it is it, it, it is insane it is insane misusing we want to use the Holy Spirit as a tool in our lives for our own uh, vision, for our own plan, for our own purpose. You know why God gave us the Holy Spirit? Number one, to comfort us. And to remind us whatever Jesus has in his mind. The most important thing is the third thing. Uh, we, are, we are almost concluding. The second Corinthians, third chapter, we find in the verse number 17. Now the Lord is the Spirit. And where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. Nehru, the Prime Minister, he told one word. In the chains of discipline, the spirit soars high in freedom. We need to say liberty, but in the liberty there is a control, there is a command. Now the Lord is a spirit. Where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty. We are no longer called the slaves of sin. If I ask you a question, I will just I will count one, two, three. Please, from the elders, from the great men and women of God, from the leaders to the smallest person, we have to give this answer. Suppose somebody asks us, Are you saved? Are you washed in the blood of Jesus? And I'm asking this question. One, two, three. Thank you, Andy. Chetal Then she said, You know something? This is one thing which is called as a witness. And you know what a witness is? It is more than the words, more than the preaching, the life will teach more. The life will preach more. How long are we going to torture our leaders? How long are we going to control our leaders? How long are we going to kill our leaders? How long are we going to misuse? How long are we going to abuse? If we die, we will look up above. 
now the word of god says but 18th verse but we all with unveiled face beholding as in a mirror the glory of the lord we are transformed into the same image from glory to glory just as by the spirit of the lord Parishudatmanu Gorumu Jeeva Ma Yesu Prabhu Ni Perata Verumu Parishudatma Leni Di Jeeva Mu Leni Ratu Ketrayuku Gadadi Nerachika tinta Sarakulu veda kuri Tipal maru veda kinanu Nirar da kamai povono Vega Atmana dupu Satya muloni Kipude Atmana dupu Yes, <laughs> you know something man of God he wrote it then, then when we search the Bible without the Spirit of the Lord it is like searching the provisions in a dark room <laughs> You need the Spirit of God to tell you what it is. Why do we need the Spirit of God? Because the Holy Spirit is the Spirit of God. And if you have the Spirit of God, you have the mind of God. You have the heart of God. You have the oneness of God. The early church chose people full of Holy Spirit. Are we choosing in our lives? Are we people full of the negative spirit? We have to ask a question. The Holy Spirit, the Bible tells us, it is the one who transforms us into the same image from glory to glory. Marana Seriram Marpunundi Mahima Seriram Pundutakai Mahimatmatona no Nimpi TV Marana Bayamulan Tichi TV Marana Seriram Marpunundi Mahima Seriram Pundutakai you know what the holy spirit is the one who changes us from glory to glory into the same image of Christ. Just two verses I'm going to read. The first verse is Philippines third chapter. Third chapter. Verse number 20 and 21. I told you about the future of the church. And what does the word of God say? For our citizenship is in heaven. From where we also eagerly wait for the Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. Who will transform our lowly body that it may be conformed to his glorious body's likeness. The book of 1st John, 3rd chapter, verse number 2. 
Beloved, now we are children of God. Priyulara, ippudu manava devuni pillalamai unnam. Adi status quo. That's the status. Idana mata paristhiti. Devuni pillalamai nanta maatram sadhinchindi. Inka sadhinchalsu inka chaalu undadi. Devuni pillalaga pariganapabadutunnam. We are considered as the children of God. However, he says. Inka pai gantaru. We think after become the children of God, we become everything. Prabhu pillalamai pothe man vanni ai poya man kunta. The word of God says. Ai the chuda ni devuni vakhi milan tundi. It has not yet been revealed what we shall be. Mano nikka yeh moodu mo adi inka pratyeksha paracha bana ledu ka. We don't know exactly how what we will be. Mano ni yala outa mo mano ke inka sirikuli. But one thing we know. Kani vakhi matra mano kha. But we know that when he is revealed. Aina pratyeksha mai na puru. We shall be like him. Aina yunnatlu gani. Why? Because we shall see him as he is. See, I cannot see the light in all fullness. Three seconds, my eyes become uh, blinded. I am not like that light. But a time will come. I will become like that light. And I will see the light eye to eye. Today I don't see Jesus in his full glory. But one day I will see him eye to eye. As he is. In all his glory. In all his majesty. Nothing to stop me gazing at his eyes. Because I shall be like him. That is my prayer. So one day I will be able to see my Lord face to face. I can see him eye to eye. God has two offices. The first office is the blood of Jesus. Constant redemption. Constant cleansing. Constant state of redemption. He sanctifies us. And he keeps us holy. The second office for the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the Holy Spirit. Many of you say. I am praying. I am washed in the blood of Jesus. But I am not changing. How can you change? There is a balloon. I blow air in the balloon. I leave the balloon. It will not fly. It will not fly. Because it has only my breath. But if I blow helium into that. It will go up into the sky. We need the spirit of God. Because the man of God says the works of the flesh. But he says the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Because when the Holy Spirit comes into us. We will bear fruit. God can never work on his own. He uses his people. It is not that he cannot do. He wants to do through you. He created through the word and wisdom. And through his son, he brought redemption on the face of the earth. And through the Holy Spirit, he brings fruit. Many are asking nowadays, pray that I get the gifts of the Holy Spirit. The need of the hour is not the gift of the Holy Spirit. More than that, we need the fruit of the Holy Spirit. Love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faith, Fullness, gentleness, and self-control. Self-control. 
the great high priest he prayed that they all may be one you know why we fight we are not one you know why we abuse each other because we are not one how can be one by having that one spirit in our lives the Holy Spirit brings unity the Holy Spirit brings change in your character after you're washed in the blood of Jesus and I will be changed from glory to glory We will all pray lifting up our hands. Heavenly Father, Heavenly Father, శరీరం <laughs> We need God's people to join hands with us for this endeavor. So that we can take the heart of Jesus to many lives across the globe. Yesu Kalvari Prema Kalvari Prema Yesu Kalvari Prema Nakai Shramanurchi Siluva Moosina Prema Kalvari Prema Yesu Kalvari Prema Kalvari Prema Yesu Kalvari Prema Nakai Shramala Norchi Siluva Moosina Prema Kalvari Prema Yesu Kalvari Prema Kalvari Prema Yesu Kalvari Prema Nakai Shramala Norchi Siluva Moosina Prema Nakai Marana Morchi Tirigi 